We are Kale and Yumea Kune and Jacqueline Hibbert. Today we will be presenting an overview of our manuscript on recent insights on nutrition in sickle cell disease. Let's begin with a brief overview of sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease is genetically inherited and is a blood disease. The mutation in the red cell causes the hemoglobin to form strands and change the form and function of the red cells. The red cells form a sickle shape. The membrane becomes brittle. The cells are fragile, break easily, and stick to the interior of the blood vessels. The cells block the normal blood flow, causing pain, stroke, and cardiovascular complications. Populations most affected include people of African ancestry, Hispanics, Greeks, Italians, and Arabs. Nutritional complications of sickle cell disease arise primarily due to increased protein turnover. A normal red blood cell turnover is 120 days. With sickle cell disease, this is drastically reduced to approximately 10 days. This results in an increased energy expenditure demand. In addition, amino acid deficiencies arise from their depletion. Also, vitamin and micronutrient deficiencies occur. These all lead to poor growth and development, stroke, and cardiovascular disease risk. We have found that dietary supplementation reduces the sickle cell disease severity. This includes reduced resting energy expenditure, achievement of good blood pressure, reduced inflammation, improved bone health, improved oxidative stress, and preserved kidney function. Nutrition does occur in standard treatment for sickle cell disease in the form of supplementation of zinc, copper, omega-3 fatty acids, some vitamins, and hydration. What we are presenting in this manuscript are some new considerations that involve macronutrients, specific amino acids, phytochemicals, medicinal plant-derived nutrients, and the relationship between diet, the gut microbiome, and hosts. 